Hi guys, it's Linda with Making the Most of It with Linda. Well, yesterday I forgot to tell you something when I was doing my football picks. I got challenged by Anna Marie by Big Dream Homestead to do Vlogmas, which is posting a video each day for the month of December. Now, as many of you guys know, my, my life has been hectic. So, I haven't been able to produce real decent videos lately. I have so many recipes and so many ideas in my head that I can't do just because my house is so full and for me to post a video or record a video I need I need to be all by myself and that doesn't happen often so I have to hide in my room <laughs> to be able to do anything but that's besides the point it's all good but I promised Anne Marie that I was going to do this so I just figured I'd get on here and uh, just talk for a minute or two about whatever's on my heart so Today, I want to tell you about Anne Marie. She is an awesome, awesome sister. Let me tell you. She is a gal. We used to be neighbors when I owned the farm. <sighs> she took my ducks and my chickens when I had nowhere else to take them. And um, she's taking really good care of them. And a lot of them are kind of getting old. And she's doing a great job taking care of them. And I just love her. To death and I feel so indebted to her for all she did for me so she's just a great woman so if you guys don't know her check her out I'll leave her link down below so today I just wanted to tell you about what's been going on in my world um, I did a little shopping with my mom and then my son took me out took me and my mom out for lunch my oldest son and um we came home, and my heart started pounding, and I started shaking, and I'm sweating, as you can see. And just my whole system just decided that it didn't like me anymore. And uh, I just started feeling really crappy. This is nothing new to me. This is a common occurrence that happens. It's, it's on a cycle. It's a weird cycle. Sometimes it could be every two weeks. Sometimes it could be every month. Sometimes it could be every two months. I think it's dependent on a lot of things about what's going on with my body. <sighs> so, I've been dealing with this for over a decade. And I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And I've been to a million doctors before all you guys say, Go to the doctors. Been there, done that. So, um, a lot of doctors. Um, anyway, that's not what this is about, but what it is about is I often post on the times where I get like this, I post on my Facebook page that I don't feel very good. Excuse me, my arm's getting tired, so I'm trying to switch it up. And a lot of people go and say, oh, I hope you feel better and send me all sorts of well wishes, which I love because it means that, you know, they care about me. And it's very sweet, but I thought, I thought I'd tell you why I do what I do. Okay. When I post on my Facebook page that I don't feel well, the main reason I do it is, number one, to kind of give my husband a warning. Because he works all day, all day long. And um, where he works, we may, he, uh, we can't call each other. Look at, you get to see my hand. My ugly hand. <laughs> we can't call each other and stuff like that. But um, on occasion, he'll get the message when he goes on a break or something like that. And he'll see, okay, my wife's not feeling good. And he knows what that means. The other reason why I post it is it's a reminder when I go on Facebook or when I do something that... It's a reminder to myself that I don't need to feel guilty for the things I don't get done for this time. It only usually lasts like a day or two, sometimes three, and then it'll subside and get better. And um, it's always for a time. It may differ in time, but it's only for a time. It's not forever. And it just gives me that reassurance that it's okay that I don't get things done. It's okay that I listen to my body, that I take a time out, that I take a break, and just breathe without feeling guilty about it. So that's mainly why I post it. 
Um, the other reason is I know that there's others out there that have health issues that they kind of get similar symptoms. And these symptoms can feel like <sighs> they're really interrupting your life. And then you feel guilty for having them. And like your mom and your dad, well, my parents understand, but other people around you may not understand what's going on with your body or how it is to have these symptoms. This kind of lets them know, I get you. I know what it's like. And you're not alone. That's the only reason I do it. So, um, for anyone suffering from any kind of ailment, I believe mine is, um, an autoimmune disorder. I do know that I have a hiatal hernia that causes havoc, but I think that it is an autoimmune disorder because it has to deal with a lot of swelling in my system, which causes, causes me the most havoc. Um, I just want to let you guys know that you're not alone. That if you can't get do something done in your day, that it's no big deal. It's more important to listen to your body. Your kids would appreciate it. Your husband or wife will appreciate it more. Knowing that you're taking care of yourself so you can be even better on your good days. So that's all I have to say for today. Day 2 of Vlogmas. Thanks, Anne-Marie. I love you. Um, not very exciting. But it will, it is what is on my mind. So you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.